What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Cameron here back at it with another video on the channel Hope you guys all have an, a fantastic day today. We're doing a Devin Booker Celtics rebuild So as you guys can see on screen uh, It's a trade for Devin Booker. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments if there should be uh, Something else added to this trade or something on either side. Let me know down there so my basic uh, thinking for this is Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown gives them shooting guards and Gordon Haywood sell as cap filler. Also, Ned Tyler Johnson, so all that. It might be classed as an overpay. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm always open to that. Yes, all user teams accept that trade. So I was actually both of them, so it did actually go through. So just a second here. Righto. So we are the Boston Celtics. So there's little that we could really do so we don't really have a proper power forward our power starting power forward at the moment would either be i don't think that's a good <laughs> that's pretty that's too good if i'm being honest with you here what i'm thinking is if i move tice to the power forward because i know tice can shoot a bit he does have a good three point shot and he goes up two overall so sure i'll move tice to the power forward and that should be all good. Six eight, so he should be able to fit into the power forward position pretty well. So that's the starting five. Tyler Johnson coming off the bench with Robert Williams. This bloke, Brad Watermaker. Sammy Olige. Sorry, mate. We're going to send you down in the G League your first season. Oh, Olige is... Wait, no. He's on, a, oh no, he's on another year on his deal. You know what? No. We'll give him minutes. He's a good rotation piece. We'll give him some minutes. It is a realistic rebuild after all. Um, so Cantor should probably be getting about mm, 28 and night. Tice could be getting about 27. Tatum will stick to about 36. Booker could get 37. And Kemba can also get 37 as well. So hopefully this is a good team. So really, if I'm looking at it here, we don't have a very we don't have a bench because we gave up our depth for Devin Booker. So first scoring option is gonna be Kemba. Book and then Tatum. I'm gonna go for this first season, see if that works. Actually, no. Oh, no, no, no. I should, I should, I should keep it like that just for this first season until Tatum gets better. Uh, our best uh, is probably a balance system with seven seconds. I'm gonna stick to a balance system. I think that's probably one of our better systems, so sure, I'll go with balanced. Uh, I'll change the coach's preferred system later. Uh, power rankings, we're a projected 7th seed and 7th seed. So hopefully we can do that. Like I said, I'm going to change the coach's preferred system. And I'll see you guys at the end of this first season. We finished with a 50 and 32 record. LeBron James is the MVP. Zion, rookie of the year. D'Angelo Russell was sixth man. Giannis was defensive. Tice was most improved. And Frank Vogel, coach of the year. Yeah, so do we get any Boston Celtics around here? We do not. Do we get any defense? We don't. Do we get any rookies? We don't. Okay. So we finish as a three seed in the East. I mean, fair enough. That's good enough. Good, good. Uh, Devin Booker was our leading scorer with Kemba Walker, Jason Tatum, Ennis Cantor, Tyler Johnson, Tice, uh, Watermaker, Williams, and Poirier, I think his name is. Uh, team stats here. Points per game. So offensively, we were seventh. Our defense just outside the 10 and our differential was seventh. So very nice to see. So I'm going to leave the rotation like it is. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. No, I'll keep it like this and uh, I'll simulate round against the Raptors. See what happens here. I'm not expecting big things. If we make it past the first round, I will be quite, ha quite pleased with the team. If we do make it past the first round, but I'm not expecting us to, we're down three, two and uh, it's game seven and uh, we do make it to the second round. Nice. And we're taking on the 76ers. Okay, this could be a sweep for them, I'm guessing. Oh, uh, we're 2-0. Okay, we win one game at least. We're down 3-1. We win, we lose in five games. So I'm not, not, I think we just need to put, get more depth in our bench and try and grab someone better than Ennis Cantor at the center position. I think that's what we should go for is someone better at the center position. Because, <laughs> or a power forward, an actual power forward would actually help. Yeah, if I'm thinking about it. But the Sixers win the championship with Ben Simmons getting finals MVP. Good on you, Ben. Good on you, mate. Uh, draft lottery. Do we have... We don't... Oh, yeah. We have a pick in the round. We have the projected eighth pick. And we don't get it because somehow the Grizzlies moved up to three. So we don't get that pick. The, we have the 19th pick there. And that is all from us. So we have the 19th pick. I think we could probably do something there then, I'm guessing. I am going to grab up a new trainer in Randy Martin, and I'm also going to grab up a new assistant GM in Michael Williams. Hopefully we get both of them. We do. So, look, draft. We could possibly try and grab another power forward 
here. So like if we move Tice with this 19th pick, could we possibly, possibly grab another power forward? Another, I mean a better power forward basic. That's what I'm looking for. Looking for power forwards here, mate. Come on, give us one. Give us a good power forward. Ooh, Robert Covington. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll grab up Roko. Roko can come under the squad. I, I don't think that was realistic though, was it? I don't know. I guess that's kind of realistic. We did give up a good pick to the Timberwolves plus Tice. Gives them a power forward. So, uh, yeah, I guess that was all right. That's all right. Okay. Let me, uh, and then let's go. Uh, I think we're all good now. I think we have a couple of seconds. So we might just jump in here. Yeah, we got a couple of second round picks. So sure. So let's see who's fallen down here. Jalen Smith, hey? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll bring him onto the team. And let's see who else we got. The second to last pick here. Lovely. Lovely. And we'll take Matthew Hurt. So there we go. So let's sim to the end here. Rookie signings. I'm actually going to sign both those guys and send them out of G, G League. Team player options. We'll bring back those two. Jason Tatum. Ennis Cantor once did decline his option. Okay. Javon Carter, you don't need to come back, mate. Um, So we do need a center. We need a center big time. And we have no cap space. But we can afford JaVale. JaVale's not bad, you know. JaVale could actually be real handy for us as a center. That's not bad. JaVale McGee. Um, yeah, JaVale McGee would actually be a really good pickup. And then if it's possible, try and grab Ennis Cantor as well. Because then that gives us a little bit of depth at the center position. Unless he wants to come on a smaller deal. Nah, he doesn't want to. Yeah, nah, I'm not expecting him to come onto the team. We're probably not going to grab up another center here. Who can we afford? Alex Len isn't bad. Kind of Fareed. You know what? Alex Len might actually be alright. If I get offer that to Alex, could we grab him up? We can. So that's alright. We got one, two. Or, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Okay, so yeah, we definitely have enough players. I'll see you guys down at training camps. Here we are, three training camps. We're going to go down to untapped potential. I'm actually going to give it to Covington because I'd like him to progress a bit more. I'm going to give it to Grant Williams and also Langford because I'd like him to progress into someone very nice for us as well. So those are the training camps done. All right, yeah, now I'll sort all this out and I think our bench is fine for the time being. Yeah, I'll sort all this out and I'll see you guys with our final rotation. All right, so here's the starting five guys. Kemba Walker, Booker, Covington, Tatum and McGee as our starting five with Alex Len, Robert Williams, Grant Williams, uh, Langford and Edwards coming off of the bench. Uh, proficiencies, we, I'm going with a balanced system still. Uh, power rankings, NBA.com has us at 5 and Eric has us at 5 also. So that's it, I'm going to simulate this season and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So this second season we finished with a 51 and 31 record. AD is the MVP. Lamelo Ball, Rookie of the Year. Cole Anthony, sixth man. Anthony Davis, defensive. DeAndre Ayton, most improved. All right. And Frank Vogel, Coach of the Year. So do we get any Celtics on these teams? We do not. Do we get any defensive? We don't. And I don't think we had any rookies. No, we did not. So we didn't get anyone there. We finish as a two seed in the East, which is pretty good, I must say. Let's check these player stats here for this team. Devin Booker was our leading scorer with 27.5 points. Tatum, 23.7. And Kemba, 21.6. JaVale, Covington, Grant Williams, Alex Len, Robert Williams, uh, Romeo Langford, and Carson Edwards there for you guys there. Team stats here. Points per game. So offensively, we were second. Defensively, I didn't... Oh, we're in the top 10. Okay, and differential, we were third. So that's awesome to see there. Rotation-wise, for the playoffs. Hmm. Roko's not doing too well at the moment. It's okay, it's okay. Um, Grant Williams, your minutes. You, you need to be down here, mate. Um, and Carson Edwards off the bench is probably... Oh, I don't want to give Robert Williams no minutes because... Hmm. All right, what if I go like this and move him to the 10 minutes, give Carson and Romeo more minutes each, and then give Grant some more as well. So let's try that out. Hopefully that kind of works. Uh, let's just simulate round here against the Bulls. I think we should be okay against the Bulls, although I won't get too confident because knowing me and 2K, we have a very rocky relationship when I get confident. But we do get past them. We sweep past them, and we're taking on, please be Atlanta, Please be Atlanta. We're taking on Atlanta. It should be all right then. But again, I probably got too confident and might just lose here to Atlanta here. We're down 2-1. 
Uh, we better go up 3-2 here. Yes, we do. Can we go game seven? Guess we win game seven, and we got the four-seeded Bucks. Bledsoe, Roberson. Damn. Middleton, Kumpo. Okay. So, yeah, there's that team that we're going up against. Ah, oh, no. I'll go, I'll go round unless it's close. Two. If we went down 3-2 th there. Okay, it's 3-2 their way. We need to win this game at home, away from home, to take it to a game seven, and then we got to win it on the road. Well, no, we got to win at home. This could be all right. This could be our series, man. We could be going to the finals here, but knowing me and 2K, we, again, we have a rocky relationship. It could not be... Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do, mate. We're going to the finals, and we're taking on the Los Angeles Lakers, who have LeBron, Kuz, AD... Taylor Orton, Tucker, oh, Iggy Wadala, Danny Green. Okay, this team could be a uh, force to be reckoned with. Yeah, we've gone down 3-0. <laughs> Lovely, we've gone down 3-0. Come on, can we win one game? If we win one game, I'll be happy. Nope, we're getting absolutely slaughtered. Yep, that's not even a final series, mate. So the Lakers are the champs with AD making, uh, making or uh, with AD getting finals MVP. I got their final. So we did make the finals, but we got swept. And we got swept in the finals, so that's not a good thing. We've got the Memphis pick again, and so that gives us the 11th pick, which means we do have something to go off here. Staff signing, uh, we just wanted a trainer, and we should be okay there. Uh, draft time, so I th if I remember correctly, it was the 17th pick that we had? No, we have the inside the draft. We have do have it inside, so we have the 11th pick. Again, I'm going to see what I can if I can grab up another center. So if I give up Len McGee... And if that first, the 11th pick, could I get a starting caliber center? Marcus Gasol. Ooh, that's not bad, you know. Grab Marcus Gasol. That's not bad. Grab Marcus Gasol. He's 36. He has an outside presence. Can play. It does play good defense as well. What's his defensive rating? He has an A defense. He's 36. Plus, we get Joe Harris, who gives us some scoring off the bench. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that trade. I think that would be all right for both sides there. So let's just go to rookie signings. I think we have a couple of second round pick. Yeah, we do. And I'm not going to sign him. Team player options. I'm bringing back everyone there. Uh, qualifying, we need to get Jason Tatum back on the squad because he is a very, very vital piece to our team. And hopefully that's all the free agents that we have. Yes, it is. Jason Tatum is our only free agent. I like that. Uh, and... We should be alright. Kenneth Fareed, Robin Lopez, yeah, no, I'm good. So Jason Tatum are the only two, as the only person that we want to bring back onto our team. Okay, sure, I'll match it. It's not like I'm going to trade him anyway. So it's only one more year season after this as well. So I think that's all that I'm thinking of doing this season. Uh, we got point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, power forwards, centers. Yeah, we're fine. All right, I'll see him down at training camps. I'll see you guys then. So training camps, we're going down to untapped potential again, and I'm going to give it to I'm going to give it to Carson Edwards. I'm also probably going to give it to oh no, I want to give it to probably Grant Williams, and also I kind of want to give it to Marcus Sol. Mm, I'll give it to I'll give it to I'll give it to Matthew Hurt. Sure, mate. Sure. So let's advance to this next season here. Hopefully, yeah, no, I'm not going to make any trades. This is going to be the roster that we've got to go through this season with, and I'll see you guys at the end. Oh, at the end? I'll see you guys with our final rotation. Here we go. So here's our starting five. Kemba, Booker, Covington, Tatum, and Gasol as our starting five with Joe Harris, Jalen Smith, Robert Williams, Grant Williams, Romeo Langford, and Carson Edwards coming off of the bench. We have a very, very deep bench, deep team. Uh, scoring options, right. Devin Booker, Tatum, and Kemba. Proficiency, we're sticking with a balance system. Seems to be working. Let's go to a power rankings. We're a projected six seed and six seed. So hopefully we can boost that up a bit this final season. And I'll see you guys with our record for the, this final season. So, not the greatest of seasons here. We only finished with a 41 and 41 record. AD is the MVP. Jalen Green, rookie of the year. Bowl, bowl, six man. AD also defensive. Michael Porter Jr., most improved. And Frank Vogel, coach of the year. So, do we get any Celtics here? We do not. Do we get defensive? We don't. And I'm guessing we don't have any rookies either. Oh, no, we get Jalen Smith, all rookie second team. That's, that's, that's all right. That's all right. We finished as an eighth seed. Okay. I think we're pretty tough eight seed. If I'm being honest with you guys, with you guys, uh, Booker, Tatum, Kemba, Gasol, 
Grant Williams, Joe Harris, Langford, Covington. Covington didn't do much. He didn't do as much as I thought he would. Uh, team stats here. Points per game. We were eighth. Our defense was pretty damn bad. And our differential was just outside the tenth. So we weren't too good this season for some reason. We weren't too good. Uh, Rotation-wise, I'm going to bring it back to like a... No, I'm going to go bring it to a nine-man rotation for the playoffs here. Gonna give it uh, to a nine man rotation for these playoffs and give these starters time to shine. Basically, that's all I'm gonna be doing here. Uh, yeah, we should be okay now. I think that should be alright. Uh, I'm gonna go and simulate this first round against Brooklyn. Hopefully, that rotation change does help us out a bit. We're up 2 0. Okay, I was about to say, if we went up 3 0, that would have been cr clutch. But we go up 3 1. We could have an upset here. Um, like I said, we are a tough eight seed in this way. So we take it on at Washington. Uh, we do have a hard road because we don't have home court in any games whatsoever. That's if we even make it past Washington here. And apparently we get eliminated by Washington. Who do Washington have? I want to know who Washington have. That's changed. They have Cole Anthony, Bobby Porters, Ola Depot. They still have John Wall. So they traded... What the... They traded um, Bradley Beal for Ola Depot and... Cole Anthony. Well, I'm guessing they got Cole Anthony in um, the draft with their pick, but holy moly. Okay, mate. Okay. So, all in all, I think this is a pretty good team. Yeah, I like this team a lot. I think this team would do a lot better than 2K thinks it would, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments as well. So, that's basically going to be the end of the video. Like I said before, let me know in the comments if there's anything that you guys would like to see or that, that you think these videos can improve on, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, smash like, subscribe, and all that jazz. It will help show your support for the channel. It will help out tremendously. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.